Hello, everyone. So I just went to Einstein Bagels, and I'm a little perplexed. I ordered a bagel. They gave me Lay's chips with my bagel, not just Lay's chips. That would be really odd, but I don't know why they did that. But anyways, today, um, the Packers did some more things, and I'll get into that right after I finish whatever this part is. So the Packers have been pretty busy this week getting all these contracts reworked. Now doing another one with David Bautiari. It came out here from Field Yates a little early this morning saying another one. The Packers have converted $11.58 million of left tackle David Bautiari's 2022 compensation into a signing bonus creating significant cap space for the season per source. A busy week for the Packers. Cap continues. Then Tom Silverstein said this. This was an easy one for the Packers and much expected. It will create $9.26 million of cap space putting the Packers at roughly $29 million over the cap. They have cut $23 million, reworking Clark, Jones, and Bottiari. More to come. So earlier this week, before any of these moves were done, the Packers were somewhere around like $51, $52 million over the salary cap. And with them having to get under it by March 16th, it was expected for them to start making lots of these different kinds of moves. And now, you know, a few days after, you know, we hadn't done anything, we have now reworked three different players' contracts, you know, slowly providing room because we have to get under that salary cap and that's without adding any free agents or like signing Devonte Adams or doing lots of things like that. So these are definitely things the Packers needed to get done to be able to go into this next season under the salary cap. And so now the question is, you know, what other moves are they going to make to cut off the additional $29 million that they still have to, um, you know, basically get rid of to get under the cap. So now the question is, will they release any players? Brian Gudikin said earlier the past week, they don't plan to have to release many. Maybe they will have to release a couple, which would maybe save a little bit of cap space. The biggest one where we would save would be Zadarius Smith, where we would save around $15 million if we let Zadarius Smith go. So doing that, we would be about, what, like $14 million over the cap at that point. So pretty close to getting under, but that's without doing anything with Devontae Adams. Um, but also, too, when we look at Aaron Rodgers' cap hit, it's around like 40 I don't remember the exact number, 40-something million. And so if Rodgers comes back, it's expected that they'll rework some kind of deal, which will lower his his cap hit a lot coming in this next season. So probably lowering, lowering that would help also be being able to, you know, put in whatever um, Devontae Adams' contract could possibly be. So it's expected that there's going to be some more moves coming soon, and I'll keep you guys updated on this channel as always. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Tap. Is that a mustache?